Welcome to The Real, Craven County Schools' newest podcast to be able to share information on the greatest things that are happening across the district. This is episode three, Mm -hmm. and I'm with our wonderful co-host, Nardi Routon, our Southeast Regional Teacher of the Year. Hello, and how are you this evening? I am great. (laughs) It's so good to have you, and it's so good to be able to have you to help me feature some of the fantastic things that are happening across all of our schools. Mm -hmm. And so now in this episode, we want to talk about one of our programs that has been really great in our elementary schools for our fifth grade students, Mm -hmm. and that's the D.A.R.E. program. Yes, yes. And this is in conjunction with our SROs. Mm -hmm. And I know that you all are so proud (laughs) and enjoy having your SRO at Creekside Elementary. Oh, yes, yes. We love her. She's great. So that's one of the things that we have found across all of our schools is that the relationships that are being built with our SRO Mm -hmm. officers um, just can't be applauded enough Mm -hmm. because it's really important that our students see that our sheriffs are when they're out in the community, there are people too. Mm -hmm. And it's important that they know that they can go to them if they ever have something that they need to talk to them about. Yes. Yes. So do you see that happening constantly in your school? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, Ours, Officer Saul, is, um, she's amazing. The kids love her. Um, But when she has to be on, she's on. She's all, she's all business. But yet she's very um, nurturing and um, she loves the kids. Yeah, and I was going to say that it's good that you bring up that point because mm-hmm. I think that it's important that the students know that when it's time to be, you know, in fun relationship mode, that mm-hmm. that's possible. Yes. But when there's a safety or an issue, that it's all business. Exactly. Yes. And I'm sure that they can see how that turns and transitions into something that could be, imp- you know, important mm-hmm. to pay attention oh, yes. and to know. And you guys do drills on a regular basis. We do. We do. Yes. Yes. So Definitely. that's good. And so through the sheriff's office, they offer the D.A.R.E. program. Mm -hmm. And so this has been implemented now at all 15 of our elementary schools and in fifth grade. So I know that you aren't in fifth grade, but do you have an understanding of the D.A.R.E. program? I do. I do a little bit, mainly because when my boys were in fifth grade um, several, several years ago, (laughs) um, I I knew about the D.A.R.E. program. And it was um, amazing back then as yeah. well. Um, I see I'm down the hall from the fifth grade uh, students. And so I can see I see the officer going in and talking to the kids. I do know about the um, the dare uh, challenge that we recently had. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit familiar with it. So the biggest thing that they're focusing on, I know, is um, the drug awareness mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and alcohol, mm-hmm. as well as um, bullying, I think is also mentioned in there as well. Yes. So one of the things and the concepts that I liked is that the SRO is in there leading this Mm -hmm. instruction during that time Mm -hmm. and at the end of the course the students have an opportunity to be able to write an essay Mm -hmm. on what they've learned and how it's um, probably I would want to say empowered them hopefully to make good decisions Mm -hmm. and then also it talks about um, in their graduation um, the essay winner I know that there's a prize for that Mm -hmm. and then they all have the opportunity to graduate yes so it's a very special ceremony so We are so glad that this has been brought back into our schools. And you talk about when your sons did it. I remember when my children did it as well. And um, my daughter, Sophia, was very proud because she was one of the essay winners. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So, you know, that Target gift card definitely dangled and got her attention. (laughs) Yes. And so, I mean, she did like a full-blown presentation. I mean, she had a bubble map. I mean, she she went all out. She did. She wanted to make sure she won. (laughs) But it was really powerful that I saw that she was listening. Mm -hmm. and how important that she knew those upcoming middle school years and Mm -hmm. high school um, peer pressure Mm -hmm. and decisions and things that you have to think about in making those next steps in the progression from fifth grade to sixth grade. Yes, and that's why I'm so glad they brought it into the fifth grade because going into middle school being sixth graders they're they're vulnerable very you know so this this is a good program it is yes. and the other thing too we've been able to expand we've been so thankful for mm-hmm. the funding through the ABC board mm-hmm. and that's been possible through partners in education yes. and so we're so thankful for our education foundation mm-hmm. and the work that they do and I know yes. that you're very involved I am with pie as yes. well and so one of the things that they've done is through the money that they've raised they have been able to expand this to middle school mm-hmm. so so there's also a seventh grade component. 
Yes. And so now in seventh grade, they're also getting, I want to say that re-dipped. Mm-hmm. Because I think things change. <laughs> they do. Once you get into middle school. Yes. And the cell phones play a big part. Mm-hmm. And so I'm sure that um, nurturing and caring component is very important. And so that they know that sometimes it's important not to necessarily put everything out there on social media mm. or the Internet mm -hmm. and other dangers um, that are there. Yes. Yeah. And that that's a um, it's a hard lesson for some of the students to learn because some of them learn it the hard way. By I putting think we're things out there younger and younger that kids do any of your students have cell phones if they do I don't see them because that's that's in Craven County right. they're not supposed to have them um I don't I don't see them no now there was a time then yes I would it's like uh they would try to put them in their their hoodie and their thing yeah. it's like I need to go to the restroom yeah put the phone in your backpack first you right. know but I have not seen that in so for a few years. That's good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. I know sometimes kids try to talk their parents into letting them have them when they're making that transition from fifth to sixth grade. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But still, that is very young. Yeah. And I know that families have to make the decisions that are best for them. Mm -hmm. And Miss Watson, who is the principal at yes. Grover C. Fields, you know, she talks about, and I know that she's talked to our board chair, uh, there's a program called Wait Until Eighth. Ah. So getting the students to wait until later before mm -hmm. they get a cell phone and then also until they're even on social media. Yes. So that might be something that we look into and explore in the future more because, you know, with the cell phone policy and the consequences and the things that we're seeing within the school, you know, the cell phones, the dangers of cell phones still trickle into the school during the school day and can mm -hmm. be a disruption. Mm -hmm. And that's happening outside of school and on the weekends. Yes. But when it starts to impact learning and in the classroom, then it becomes a school issue. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes. So, but one of the things that we wanted to celebrate was that through the D.A.R.E. Challenge, mm -hmm. one of the things that has become very popular in the last three years is the Slime Challenge. Yes. <laughs> and so I know that you were out there because I saw you. Oh, yes. We I had was some out there. really good sports. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a great way for the schools to be able to raise money. And I know, yes. wh what was the large total that was raised? Um, was it over the, over $11,172.48? I mean, that's 48 cents. Yes, and it is. And Creekside contributed $3,000. Dollars yes. to that, and so you all won first place mm -hmm. in the slime challenge. Mm -hmm. And so I know Sheriff Hughes came out. Yes, and I know that Jason Griffin, mm -hmm. who was our um, his title, used to be the director of sec of elementary education. I think now he's the executive director. Okay, and so he got slimed as well. Yes, but it did not look like the slime no. that I pictured. Mm -mm. <laughs> it looked like green Gatorade. To it be did. honest with you, yes, and it looked very cold mm -hmm. and not fun. But they were the best sports, and the kids. Kids. They were they, so oh my excited. Gosh, they loved it. They loved it. Yes. Yeah. And our principal got slimed yes. as well. And Ms. I believe Franks. she had a hat on and the kids were chanting, take the hat off. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Scott too? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So she got yes. slimed as well. And then she I sure think did. Your, did your SRO get slimed? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So they're all really good sports when yes. it comes to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I so. think it's a great way to be able to raise money because with all the funds that were mm -hmm. raised, that money will be used to go towards a summer camp yes. program for our students to mm -hmm. be able to participate mm -hmm. in the D.A.R.E. summer camp. Yes. So that is excellent. It is. And it is. so one of the other things, too, that I was going to share is through the slime, I have seen multiple social media posts from all the other schools that even though that they weren't the winners, mm -hmm. they were still good sports and still did the slime. They did. Yeah, I saw some <laughs> of that, too. It's like, oh, that was nice. I know. It was that really was nice. Yes, I'm sure that yes. the principals and SROs didn't think so, but, you know, yeah. do it for the kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we Good. just want to thank, and our middle school winner was Grover C. Fields. Yes, they so were. So they did mm -hmm. a great job in raising the funds mm -hmm. as well. And to all of our schools that participated to make it possible, we thank you. And we are so happy to be able to continue to expand this program. And we know how important it is. Mm -hmm. And for all of our students to know not only the dangers that they could be mm -hmm. experiencing or having to face, but also so that they know who their trusted adults are and people that they can talk to. Yes. Yes. Well, Very thank you. Important. Thanks for sharing all about D.A.R.E. Yeah, you are welcome.